and Camden is watching <laughs> Elf on the Shelf on Netflix. December 1st. <gasps> it's December 1st today. What are you doing? What are you doing, Munchkin? Huh? You cleaning up? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hey guys. My I have I found I have my elf head in. His name is Robbie and he has blue eyes. What's your elf's name? And what color eyes does he have? You love your elf? Uh-huh. <laughs> I I like elfish. <laughs> Let me see. All right, bud, you ready to go get your hair cut? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you excited? Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I love your haircut, honey. It looks so good. You're so handsome. Let me see the sides. Wow, <laughs> looks so good. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. So it's been a little while since I've been on here. I didn't vlog last week at all. I actually had my brother come into town and stay with us for like 10 days from LA. So good to see him. Literally, it's been a full year um, since we've seen my brother. Like he comes every Thanksgiving and then I try to go out there like once a year, but I haven't been able to this year. Um, so, so good to see him and spend time with him. And then my mom and sister drove down from Maryland and they stayed for like a week. So it was really nice to have the whole fam in town. I did miss my grandparents and aunts and uncles. Usually you guys know for Thanksgiving, we do like a big, um, kind of like getaway vacation with my mom's entire side of the family, all my aunts, uncles, cousins, like everyone goes and we get like we stay like for four or five days in like a cabin or just like a home in the mountains or something like that um and it's something honestly i look forward to every single year it is one of my favorite times of year ever i love thanksgiving and i love being with family and going on a little vacation but we didn't do it this year for many reasons like uh, my, the pandemic my grandparents don't feel comfortable really traveling at all and um I, I don't know there was like a lot of different reasons that we decided to skip it this year um but hopefully we can continue that next year. But I did just have my immediate family um, come down for Thanksgiving and it was really nice, really enjoyable. I also had a couple friends, my girlfriend Jen, um, that I went to West Virginia with, one of my roommates and her husband Carrie actually came for the weekend, like two weekends ago, right before Thanksgiving. Um, and we all went out and like hung out with them and it was really good to see them too. So it's been very eventful lately around here. We've had a lot of guests and it's been so nice to actually be able to like have guests over and have enough space and like we have a guest room now and um, it's just, I'm really enjoying being a hostess. You know what I mean? So uh, that's a little update with that. Y'all, my hair looks so dark on the camera. I swear it doesn't actually look like that in person. It's much more like brown, but I feel like in the viewfinder it looks pitch black and it might just be the lighting and like the camera and all of that but I swear it is not this dark I did just dye it myself like I dyed it at home back in October for, so like a month a little over a month ago um, but I think I'm already like ready to lighten it just a little bit like I'm not gonna go back to blonde but I think I might want to put like some baby lights in it or just something for a little bit more dimension because I feel like the color is it's pretty it's a very pretty color but it's also just like I don't know if it's just like too much or if it's like that I'm too pale and that I need a tan really badly but in this viewfinder I feel like it's washing me out a lot so something I'm thinking about doing but I will go to a salon for that I am not trying to highlight my hair at home never ever I am not Adrian like I cannot do it uh it would be a disaster and my hair would literally fall off we finally got our couch in so excited you guys I am in love with it it is so so beautiful i cannot wait to show y'all the couch i um it is white like i told you guys it's huge it's like the perfect size for um our living room and i got a new rug in which i'm going to show you as well and the last thing i need is a coffee table so 
I searched high and low on Black Friday and Cyber Monday for a coffee table because I wanted to get a really good deal, but I didn't find the perfect one. I found a lot of ones that came close that I almost ordered, um, but decided not to because I really want like a solid wood. I think I want like one of those like drum, like a solid wood drum type coffee table, but I want it to be high enough. So I want it to be like 18 inches, 17 inches at least. Our couch uh, sits at like 19 inches and I just don't want it to be too low. Um, and then I want it to be like kind of reclaimed wood, like that distressed look. So I've been looking high and low. I can't find anything. Um, I've also looked at other tables too, not just like drum tables, but like other reclaimed wood coffee tables. And I definitely want round. So um, we'll see if you guys have any ideas or if you know any places that I should search, let me know. And I really want to order it soon because I do believe we're having some family come into town for Christmas, Alex's side of the family, um, and I would really like a coffee table. So, but anyway, I can't wait to show you all the couch. I have not um, sprayed it with Scotchgard yet. I am using Folex. A lot of y'all recommended Folex and I actually had it in my cabinet. So um, it already has gotten a couple stains on it. I'm not going to lie. Camden's footprints were on it. He was jumping on it with dirty feet and got like two dirty footprints on it. So I used the Folex for that and it got it out. So thank God for Folex. Update on the land. The land is totally clear. It's beautiful. I can't wait till we start building. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is our new couch. It is the Radley from Macy's. I will link the exact one we have down below with the exact color. You can choose if you want it like right arm facing or left arm facing. This is the one we got just because I thought it would look best for this room, but I love it so much. It's huge. Um, so I don't know if you can really tell from the camera, but it's a huge couch and I love that it has a chase at the end. So, um, depending on the configuration that you want, you could have the chase on that side and, um, then this over here, but yeah, it's super comfortable and I did get the white. I do believe you can get different fabrics and things like that, but you do have to go into Macy's to order it if you want it in a different fabric. I just went ahead and ordered it online cause like I wasn't trying to go in there and do all that. Um, but they have so many different colors in this couch. So many of you guys actually recommended this couch when I was hunting for a new one and said that you love it. I've literally never heard anything bad about it. And I know I got white, but using the Folex, like I said earlier, it literally has removed every single stain, um, so far. So hopefully that keeps up. But right now I just have, um, some throw pillows on there for Christmas. So I'm not going to be keeping these throw pillows and that throw on here like year round. I do have to go ahead and search for some really cute like everyday throw pillows, but it did come with um, just regular white pillows that match. So it came with like one, um, two, and then this huge one, three, four, and then there's actually another one. So it came with five pillows. Um, I took one of them off just because it was like way too many. But yeah, this is the new couch, super comfortable. So I originally thought like by getting the chase that I would be lounging on the chase every single night when watching TV, but this is my spot. This big like corner piece, um, I'll like move these pillows and it's just this like massive, big, cozy corner piece. And that is usually where I chill at night. Um, so there's plenty of room, like when we have guests over and family visiting and everyone just kind of chills on the couch and I love it. It's so pretty. It's perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And I'm so happy I went with it. Um, and it was like more affordable than some of the other couches that I was looking at. Um, and Macy's usually like, don't buy it unless it's on sale. I know it was just on sale for black Friday. I'm not sure if it's still on sale, but definitely wait for a sale before you buy it. Um, because Macy's has sales like all the time. So this is what it looks like from the back of the couch. And it was really nice because Macy's has like their white glove service. So the guys came in and they put the entire couch together. They moved it around um, to exactly where I wanted it. And they were very helpful. So that's a plus from ordering from Macy's. So yeah, this is it you guys. Again, still have to do the coffee table. And I just think wood would be really, really pretty with everything that I have kind of going on in this whole space. I think wood would wood, wood, <laughs> wood, would match really nicely and go with everything else. Um, and the rug, the rug is something else that 
we just got in. I think it's from Rugs USA. I honestly don't remember, but I will link it down below. And we did get the 9 by 12, I want to say, um, because this room is pretty big. And the rug comes in a couple colors. I think I have like, I don't remember, the ivory or the off-white color. And I love it. So that is everything. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions about the rug or the couch down below. Also, please let me know what coffee table you think would look good here. So I got the boys these really cute matching Christmas pajamas with little Christmas trains all over them from Kiki Pants. If they're still for sale, I'll link them down below. They're so cute, such good quality. I like that they're very stretchy, but they're still like lightweight. And <laughs> um, I got, I think this is like 18 month for Quinton and it's the zip up like onesie and then Cam's, here, let me see. Cam's is the two piece. So his is like um, the top, the long sleeve top with the pants. And it's cute because the little collar is a hunter green on Camden's, but on Quinton's it is red. Um, but I got them on Amazon and they came pretty fast too. And they have a bunch of different prints. So very cute. So I wanted to share really quickly these grain-free taco shells from Siete. If you can find these in your grocery store, I found these at Harris Teeter, buy them. They are so good, like literally made chicken tacos last night and they were the best tacos I've ever made just because of these shells and even Alex loved these, which he's very particular about his shells. He just likes like the good old like El Paso regular ones. He was hesitant to try these um, because they're kind of fancy and bougie, but he loved them. So definitely try them out and they're healthier for you. Like they're grain free, gluten free, paleo, vegan. They're made with avocado oil. They're dairy free, soy free, no corn, wheat or rice. So much healthier for you than just like the regular taco shells. And I pretty much buy like all Siete stuff. I buy their um, taco seasoning. The spicy taco seasoning is amazing if you can find that too. And then even their hot sauces are really good. So definitely try these out. So I just ordered this. I got it in from Amazon. It's so cool. It's a responsibility chart, ages three and up. And I wanted to start giving Camden some more responsibility and like do the whole star thing. So if he's like really good or does something helpful um, or like shares with his brother, then he gets a star and they have the entire week, Sunday through Saturday. You can put whatever responsibilities that you want. You can switch them out too. So it comes with a ton of different magnets. I'll show you guys. And then it comes with a bunch of stars and you can give them a star throughout the week as they, you know, do their responsibilities. Um, so the ones that I picked out for Cam for this week are like clean up his room, be helpful, no talking back, eat vegetables, get ready for bed, um, share, Cam, <laughs> share, no teasing, and stay in bed all night. It takes him a while to get to sleep. He'll come down like 12 times before he actually falls asleep. So that's definitely one of them we need to work on. Um, and it's a massive magnet, so I'm just sticking it on the fridge for right now. I don't even really care if it looks messy, but um, it also comes with like a string that you can attach through these holes so that you can just like hang it up on the wall if you'd rather do that. Over here are all of the different responsibilities, like they have brushed teeth, do your homework, set the table, get up on time, pack your school bag, sit on the potty. So if you're potty training, this is also really good. Make the bed, wash the dishes. A lot of these things Camden doesn't really like do yet. Um, <clears throat> don't inter don't interrupt. That's a really good one. We should work on <laughs> interrupting. Keep you guys updated with how this whole thing is kind of going and I'll link it down below too. It's on Amazon. All right, just finished dinner. I'm gonna clean the kitchen, finishing up watching The Bachelorette, which I'm not really into this season. Honestly, it's just kind of like boring to me, but um, a really good show. I mentioned this on Instagram, but if you don't follow me there, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm watching a show called A Teacher on Hulu, and it is so good and so dramatic. If you're into like drama, and it, it's pretty much about a teacher who has an affair with her student, but so good. I'm like so into it. And also, um, A Million Little Things is back. They only have one episode so far, or maybe two, but it's back on for season three. You guys know I love, love, love that show. I've given up on This Is Us. I can't get into the current season, so just sticking with A Million Little Things. But I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. It doesn't even make sense. Why I think about you 
It was only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk, it's blurry but